Look at that. We're going into the heart of the storm. <laughs> I have hushed puppy in my mouth and a tornado to my anterior. Holy crap. Hello, this is, and good evening, this is Black Key here with your On Point Weather Report for June 10th, 2012. We have just got finished viewing this a video of raw footage of a tornado that touched down earlier this last, late last week, Friday evening, in Hampton, Virginia. The tornado was rated an EF1 tornado, winds of 86 to 110 miles per hour. Now the tornado uh, caused $4.3 million worth of damage in that area but fortunately, there were no lives taken. Now, the photos we have seen were taken from Mobile, Alabama and Pensacola, Florida, where today we have seen a prolonged rain event, heavy rain event, heavy thunderstorm event along the Gulf Coast. And with that, Pensacola has seen its fourth wettest day since 1979. It has recorded 10, Pensacola, Florida has recorded 10.91 inches of rain within this path within the last couple of hours literally so you take that into consideration that the rain event is still not over yet so we can still see more rain in the forecast going into evening tonight and this has led to uh, flooding and people being stuck in their cars and a lot of water rescues have been taking place along the Gulf Coast in the hard hit areas of the Gulf Coast this afternoon and this evening please be careful and keep keep abreast with the weather, with your updates, with your local area. Turn around, don't ground. Flooding is the number one killer among weather phenomena. Not tornadoes, not hurricanes, not blizzards, not heat. But yes, the power of water can stop your car, can be taken for granted most of the time. And that, that is why we see a lot of deaths out of flooding each and every year annually. So we also, see, we also see in the Northeast, we've been dealing with a cool and dreary pattern this, last, this past week from DC to Boston. And with this dreary pattern, it's much similar to a winter-like pattern because we have, we have had the, what you know as the Greenland block or this high pressure system up in Greenland, the continent of Greenland, the area of Greenland, which has, able to, which has been able to block and dip the jet stream south, which allows cooler air from Canada, from, from the northern regions of Canada, to come down to us. So temperatures have been rather cool in the beginning of this past week, were rather cool and below average for this, for this time of year in June. So we have seen cool air now just recently, going heading to the later half of this week, into this weekend, we have seen warm up. But with that, we have seen every day a chance of an instability thunderstorm or passing shower. Now, with this instability thunderstorm or passing showers, the chances are real slim to see one. They're isolated in nature. So, your chance of seeing a thunderstorm or a shower is real slim to none. And with that being said, there's always the risk of seeing a thunderstorm this past week. There's always been a risk of seeing a thunderstorm or a shower. So, the umbrella needs to be still kept. This going into this evening and going into tomorrow as we, as we still have in the forecast, thunderstorms in the forecast. So let's go through your forecast for, for some cities in, in the northeast and some cities in the south and even our international forecast and lastly we'll go into some shout outs. So New York City will be 84 degrees tomorrow with an isolated thunderstorm chance. Again, not a total washout. And we don't think it's going to be a total wash out. Get outside and enjoy it. The sun will be a mix of sun and clouds. So the sun will make an appearance sometime during the day tomorrow. But it won't be a complete washout. And the greatest chance of seeing a thunderstorm or a passage shower will be late in the afternoon towards 
evening time. Washington DC would be sunny high of 94 degrees. That's the warm-up I was talking about. The pattern is about to change. And we're seeing the jet stream move northward, which allows warm air from the south to move up. So we're seeing that. Cobalt will be 90 degrees as the thunderstorms. Baltimore will be sunny high of 94 degrees. Boston will partly cloudy a high of 78 degrees. And Atlanta, Georgia will see rain tomorrow and uh, thunderstorms high of 77 degrees. Houston, Texas will be sunny. Again, the extreme heat continues in the part of, uh, in this part of Texas area, Houston, San Antonio. So tomorrow will be sunny, a high of 94 degrees. And Albuquerque will be sunny, a high of 91 degrees. Beijing, China is an international spot of the, of the week that has been added to the On Point Weather Report. And if you wish to add another international spot or another city, within the lower 48 please let me know facebook me tweet, tweet me and and uh we'll, we can make that happen we can let's so let's work and make that happen so beijing china will be 82 degrees tomorrow with sunny skies and shout out to miss ashley gab happy birthday one of our lincoln lions who is studying out in china so shout out to miss gab shout out also to sister um mustafa mohammed who is a coo notary public and bookkeeper of AIM, AIIM Incorporated. Again, she is COO, Notary Nord, Public Republic and Bookkeeper of AIIM Incorporated, which is a second family generation business service firm. Now, if you want a shout out, like I did for Ms. Ashley Gab and Sister Um Mustafa Mohammed, if you have a business or you just want a shout out, let's make that happen for your next weather video. We can we can make that happen. We can do shout outs and, and all that good stuff. So so until next time so I was out uh to, on Monday, on Sunday evening rather, I will see you again with another uh with a report for uh, the work week coming up and what's what's in store for, for the work week as we near Monday. That will do it for here. I'm Balaki for on point with a report. Have a great weekend.